Hello, this is Stacy Schiffman, pastor of Calvary Baptist Church in Dundalk, Maryland. Just with a quick update, Brother Andy asked me if I would say a word, and I want to say I cannot thank you enough this morning for your prayers for our church and our situation here. Just as a quick uh, recap, our governor on Wednesday afternoon opened the state back up, opened churches up to 50% capacity. We announced our church on Wednesday night that we'd be having church this Sunday, uh, and the, for the first time in two months, actually. And then the next day on Thursday, our, our county executive vetoed that, overruled it, and closed the county again, closed the churches again, even restricting it even more than it was to only 10 people, if they even if they met outside. And so we decided to just go ahead and move forward with church this morning by faith and put everything in place, and we opened the doors of the church this morning. Uh, we had received some pretty serious I don't want to use the word threats. That's not the right word, but we've been told by the Baltimore uh, Police Department that everyone that came this morning would be fined. And uh, that was when we gave a courtesy call to them to let them know we would be worshiping if, if anybody reported it, uh, that, that it was true that we were having church today. And they said, well, if you do that, everybody there is going to get fined. And then last night, late, I got a email, two page email from the Baltimore County Health Department uh, with some pretty strong, uh, intimidating language in there. But we moved forward anyway by faith this morning, and it was a tremendous blessing. Uh, the, the police didn't show up. None of the authorities showed up. We did have one television station, came here about 20 minutes before church. Uh, they asked a very, few questions. They were very polite. And then they left, and we were able to worship the entire service without being bothered or interrupted. And uh, I know that was because of God. We had this morning 188 of our congregation uh, that is over half, uh, right around half, I guess, of our people that came today, uh, this morning under the threat of possible fines or worse that showed up in church. We had an absolute blast and it was just God answering prayer. He manifested himself. Altars were full. People were going to the altar during the song service. After the preaching, the altar was full. We had two families join this morning. And I just want to say it's good to be back in church. And every single one of you that took a minute and prayed for us, we cannot thank you enough. God does hear. God does answer prayer. Now, we've got church tonight. You're starting in a little bit. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens tomorrow, Tuesday. I could get some sort of a, a notice or a letter or they could show up and say something. But for now, we're rejoicing in the goodness of God. Thank you for praying for us. Please keep praying for us up here in Maryland. Uh, there's a lot of churches will be opening up this coming Sunday on the 24th. And uh, we desire your prayers. We love you. Thank God for you. And let's stand together and trust the Lord to do amazing things in these days.